Hello, thanks for joining and wanting to learn more about the EPIC sign-on request form and profit centers. My name is Laura Hamilton and I want to show you a little bit about this form and how you're going to add this information into EPIC when you're adding in your policies. So when you hire a new producer or a licensed CSR, you send um, us information, say, hey, we have a new um, producer, we want to set up commission splits. We are going to email you this form that needs to be filled out. This first page is letting you know that we can set up commission splits based off of the commission that you receive from ASNOA. So if your agency split is, let's say, 85%, that helps me for even numbers, and you want to pay your producer 50%, that's actually 42.5%. If you want to pay your producer any different kinds of percentages for new and renewal commission, you just need to let us know. If you decide that you're going to be paying your producer actually 50% of the 100% that we receive from the carrier, then you need to indicate that on the report. Basically, how we're going to set this up is having it based off your commission splits with ASNOA. When you see this form, you're going to want to put down your producer's name, the email address, their date of birth, if they're licensed or not, and your commission split with them for new and renewal. If they have their own profit center, which that's how we're going to set it up, A, B, C, D, E, whatever it may be, depending upon how many producers you have within your agency, we want you to indicate if you want that producer to only see the business that they write or if you would like them to see your entire branch. So how we look at that is if your producer is just producing for you and he's only working on his book of business, then yes, we would do profit center only. But if it's a licensed CSR, your producer is actually helping you with service, other policies within the agency, we would check the entire branch. If you have additional producers that you're hiring at the same time, just fill them all out there um, with all their names and their commission splits. If you have any referrals, so let's say that the um, mortgage guy down the street is sending you business and you want to track that, we can also set them up by their name and any commissions. So with that being said, when you're entering in your policy into EPIC, you're going to want to make sure that you use the correct profit center. So if it's profit center A, B, C, D, whatever it's going to be, it's going to be in this little drop-down area. I use profit center PFC, so I'm going to keep it this way. Then you're going to want to check this PRBR commission tab. You're going to put your producer in as producer zero as order number zero. So you're going to put your producer in, you're going to add it. They're going to, percentage is automatically going to come up. And you're going to have your producer at 100% production credit, order number zero. So that one would be 100% production credit. And then your agency owner is going to be at 0% production credit. So what that means is that when you run reports based in it's pulling from your producers, it's going to show 100% production credit for your producer. Then it's going to show you as the agency owner as 0% production credit. If we put it as both 100%, then it's going to duplicate within your book of business and it's going to flaw your reports. So we're going to put your producer as 100% order zero and your production credit for the agency owner is going to be at 0% order number one. And this is going to have to have to happen in order for your reports to be accurate. You have to have both the producer name and the agency owner's name in the PRBR commission tab. 
when you have a new, bring on a new producer or we add in a new profit center for you, we need to update your report. So when that happens, please um, get in contact with training at isnoa.net. Let us know that you would like the information on how to update your reports and we will send that out to you. So thanks for joining. Have any questions, just let us know. And always remember, be epic.